Welcome back on the AM show. It's time now for us to get into the newspapers, at least those we have, and uh, let you know what they have to say. A lot of things going on across the world from uh, the Israeli end of things, Israeli-Palestinian end of things. I've been doing a lot more reading as a student of politics, international politics for that matter. I have uh, done some reading in the past, but it's, it's whipped up my interest and in I've uncovered some very interesting stuff. I'll run them by my guest. There's also uh, that situation as far as the Akosuba is concerned. All of these will be contemplated on the show, so do stay with us for some of that later. But for now, Dr. Kwasa Asante is our guest. He is a political scientist and director of the Center for European Studies at the University of Ghana. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Ben. How are you? Ah, uh, How are you, Ben? I, I am well. I am well. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Great, great, yes. great. So let me just acknowledge I can quickly. I can hear you. Right. Uh, Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic, they're offering free prostate screening if you're a man, free fertility screening if you're a woman, and here's where you can find them for all uh, your needs as far as your health is concerned. Here in Accra, it's Pentex opposite the Shell Sign Board, Kumasi Kronum Abwehia behind the Angel Educational Complex, the Stakradia Naji State, Tema Community 22, the Chiman Hansu and the Siama and Zema. Their call lines 0244-867068 or 0274-234-321. End point homeopathic clinic, the end to chronic disease and uh, the start of the news review. Now, Doc, a few issues. I know you usually come armed with something you want to talk about, but I want to throw a few things at you as well. There was that assault uh, on Ms. G in the studios of UTV. There had been an attempt uh, to muzzle the show, so to speak, by a letter that had been written and ignored. And then some individuals stormed that place. The other bit has to do with Israel and Palestine, the recent uh, Hamas incursion in Israel and the response. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has referred to it as war, all-out war, based on what has uh, happened. And finally, for your reflection, for three nights now, the electricity company of Ghana has decided not to give me light. Not because there's any problem with my community, but I, together with a host of other people, use a certain type of meter. And guess what? not just us, but others as well, you can't put credits onto the ECG app. And I'll keep saying this until Samuel Dubik Mahama. I gave him a personal call many days ago until something is done. Yesterday, I went to a mobile money place, and guess what? A woman was telling me, this is my situation, and I told her, I'm in the same soup. So you can't load credits onto your meter, which means, guess what? Your light will be off. I've actually paid money to ECG. They've held my money. They've not given me electricity. If you go out to a vendor to, their network is down. What kind of country is this? I have a gentleman in the studio here with me. He's a cameraman. He's one of our, you know, staff here, making it possible for you to see me on TV. He's facing the same situation. Three nights. Questions before we get into the papers. And uh, I think um, uh, you have raised a very important issue. Um, that is the ECG issue. I am with you on the same score. And uh, to put it bluntly, I'm in the same soup. You're in I'll the same soup? That. You're facing uh, the today, same... Today, I want to touch on... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, yes. so you have... You've um, experienced darkness I at want home. To touch I just want on... you to clarify. Has your light been off as well? I come by. I no, it's not off. What happened was that um, about three days ago, I was in school, and then uh, my wife gave me a call that uh, there's no power. Quickly, mm -hmm. uh, I used the app. I tried the app. I came home. Tried, tried, tried. Oh, it never are? worked. It never worked. I contacted oh, some vendors that I know. Uh, that they said, well, it's not working. So um, early morning yesterday. Mm -hmm. I rushed to Adenta, a place called Loto Kiosk, and I found a, van a vendor, and he said, the network is down. If you can wait, and let's see what happened. I was lucky mm -hmm. that in no time, they said, well, let me see your, uh, what you have. And then I, I gave my number, meter number to them. They said, hey, you can buy something. So I quickly bought 
something lucky you because i didn't have money on me yeah and then you know i need electricity because of my fish thing yeah. so i need electricity to pump the water and all that uh let me tie you to about a month or two ago there was this issue and they said it affected the whole of greater Accra, whether it's true or not but i went around everywhere and i never got it and if you don't pump the water out you lose the fish do you yeah. know whilst i was moving from adenta to medina to other places and all that somebody suggested to me that yeah, if you are going to lose your fish why don't you have an electrician to connect something i say no thanks no thanks you can't tell me that right i came back do you know how many fish, uh, pieces of fish i've lost 150 950 didn't change the water 950 that is, is that what you said Yes, I lost that. No, one, 150. 150. 150. 150. Samuel Dubik Mahama, that. if you are listening, 150. Managing Director, yes, ECG, many. if you are listening, this is yes. what people are going through. I know people, barbershops, they've not been able to open. That's how they earn their living. Yes. I know people with yes. cold stores, they have had to find yes. alternatives. I, my fridge, some of the things in there, the meat yes. in, in the freezer, I had some gizzard and stuff. All of it, is, it yes. has gone bad. It has gone bad. And, and, and I, yes. And, and uh, what pains me is that this is a company that is saying that hmm. people are using electricity illegally. And you are creating this, you know, condition for people. I'm not saying that people should use electricity illegally. No, I am against that. That is why when people suggested to me, I said, no, I won't go. I came home to suffer 150 loss. And that is if you want to do things right. But here you are. How long? Do we have to suffer this when we have resources to buy? And then ECG is not there to support us. You have an app and it's not working. Every morning, this morning hmm. I've checked many times, nothing is working. Nothing is working. So sometimes well, when ECG face problems and all that, some of them are self-inflicted. And one of it is this. That day, I tell you, it's about a month ago, the whole of Accra, everybody was, I, I, drive, I drove to so many places. And I was not no, able no, to I know, because I've been going then around as well, that. trying yes, to find a vendor. And, and you simply can't. Wherever I went, yes. look, I called my people at ECG. Yes. They would even try from, yes. from the office. Nothing. Yes. It, it, the system was down. There was nothing yes. you could do. And it's still down. Yes. So you are even fortunate at the yes. time that window. Be, I, I'm sure it was a it brief be, window when you could get yes. some top-up credits. Because I've been trying yes. since, was it Sunday? A since brief. Sunday. A brief. A brief, a brief, because every week I mm. buy about 500, all right? So I know it will go off any moment from now, but I don't know where to tend to. Meanwhile, I am ready to buy, but I don't have. So last time I was at, asking myself, should I go on a uh, postpaid meter or what? You know, I because thought of that recently are, too. I want to pay. Yes, yes. ECG, please, you need to set up. You can't be saying that people are what, you know, undermining the work and all that, and you yourself will not put your hmm. acts together. No, no, this, uh, you know, app thing. If the app is not working, please find us an alternative. There is always a way out. You make hmm. the thing as if that there is no way out to your problem. That, I can't take that. I can't hmm. take that. Here you are. Any moment from now, my light will go off. And what do I do? My mind is off. You know what's interesting? When I spoke to the, the MD of the ECG, and I doff my hat to him, he's doing some fantastic things. I'll give him that. But if oh, you yes. let people go through this, you know, in this country, we don't like suing and stuff. In other jurisdictions, people yes. would take you on and people would sue your socks off for, for taking their money, especially in my case. You've actually taken my money. They still are holding my money. They've not given me the service. I ben, don't have power. Ben, not to Imagine cut you the short, heat about a month and how they go. The first one that I experienced, I had paid 200, it never worked. I added 200, never worked. I ended up with 800 Ghana and it never worked. You have taken my money. I am not able to assess anything and I'm in dark. And you are what having my money, whether you have used it or not, that is what, not what I'm interested in. My yeah. interest is that let me get my energy. All right. And that day, my worry was that going around, people were suggesting to people, including my good self, somebody suggested yeah, to me, yeah. why don't you take an electrician to connect something for you? And I said, no thanks. No thanks. 
no thanks. And that is the price I had to pay for, saying no thanks, and I came back home that I have lost 150. Yeah. All yeah. right, pieces of fish. Here you are. Here you are. But I will continue to be on that path, the mm. path that I want to consume what I have paid for. All right. But the ECG, please, you need to up your game. You need to. We want to help you. I mean, illegal connection, I will always support you. The fight you are waging against illegal connection, I am with you. But when people are also ready to buy, make energy available for people to buy. Let it be accessible. Accessible. Mm. It can be there, but if it's not accessible, it amounts to nothing. Right. It amounts to nothing. Ben, quickly, I'll jump So very quickly, so we can get into the papers. Uh, Maybe in, in the next one minute, one yes, minute, 30 I'll seconds. I'll jump on to... Right. I'll jump on to the attack that was waged on uh, UTV. I find it very worrying. And it is an attack against not only press freedom, but also democracy. Democracy in this country. Mm. Uh, you and I know that from a press perspective, and I'm speaking as a former editor, so right. uh, I speak with that passion. Uh, and then from a certain informed position, all right, with all humility. Um, the constitution of this country makes it abundantly clear that in practicing any vocation related to uh, media, you have <clears throat> some freedoms. Right. And these things are found in the constitution, clearly stated. Uh, Article 162 has a whole lot of provisions regarding the practice of media and uh, the, the, the ethics and then, uh, you, you know, uh, regulations and all that. Right. You and I know that without rule of law, we go back to the state of nature. Let's look at Article 162.1. They said, we have what? The media is free and independent in this country. This freedom of the media is guaranteed is guaranteed and when they say something is guaranteed it means that any attack on it you can go to court and seek redress oh. right two <clears throat> then you move on to article 162 4 where they talk that no 162 2 where they said there's no censorship as far as media work is concerned that if media is doing its work you have no business in censoring them because this country has experienced that Time passed, all right? They did not, framers of the constitution were clear in their mind that they did not want to go back to the old order, all right? So they put this thing in the constitution to guide the conduct of media practice and then holders of political power. Article 164 also talk about that, the fact that they should not be, 164, sorry, 1624 talks about what? No control whatsoever on or interference on the work of the media. And that if you are also offended by the publication or by the work of any media house, you are entitled to a rejoinder. That Indeed. is what Article 162 or 6. Beyond that, you can also go to court and seek uh, you know, redress in the court and the rest of them. Media commission is also there. So I found it very strange that, yes, uh, a media mm. organization uh, is doing its work and you find a uh, problem with the work. I mean, there's nothing wrong you uh, venting out your grievances and all that. But to suggest or to detect uh, the pace or the content to them, then it creates a problem. Mo what is even more is when people besiege that office, as it were, took over the, the station itself. Then we are going back to what? The state of nature. All right, where well, rule of law doesn't work. I found it very, very strange. What is even surprising is that the people claim that we are party, what, uh, boys, and that we demand A, B, C, D, E, F. Um, I mean, they are with the party. Up to date, I mean, we have not heard that the party denied that they are no party boys. A lot of people <laughs> put it out there. Legal luminaries, among others, say that. So that, that, that is right, right from the strange. point when they, but, they started this, they knew that nothing would happen to them. Yeah. My worry 
is that one, you are destroying democracy. Democracy hinges on rule of law, all right? Rule of law has two components, equality before the law and due process, that we are all equal before the law and that no decision can be taken or action without reference to the law, all right? So this decision of walking there to storm the place, to take over the whole process, was it within the framework of the law? No. Even if, just for the purposes of conversation, even if what uh, the program that they criticize, even if they were wrong, all right, um, was it the appropriate way to address this? You don't use another wrong to correct a wrong. No. Yeah. Two yeah. wrongs do not make what right. It is never done anywhere. And that is why the courts are there to address mm. our views, our concerns, and all that. Right. So I was so surprised to see these things. Um, I want to advise, and it's an advice for everybody, that look, we have come this far, and it's not just by accident. It's by dint of hard work that the mm. country has have arrived here on our democratic forward march. Right. We have gone through eras of what difficulties, where at a point in time, media people could not speak. You only risk speak, speaking on certain matter. The next day, you are in jail. The yeah, next you day, you up. are arrested and detained. The next day, you are taken to uh, certain places at that you will not return and all that. We have gone past that. So the the, the, the success we have chalked in this uh, you know era, we want us to uh, protect it right. jealously. Mm. It is so expensive. And people like us will stand up and be counted to defend media freedom. That is not to say that when media airs, you mm. don't have the right to what? Uh, seek redress. That's why True. the courts are there. True. Go there and seek redress. Go to media commission, seek <clears throat> rejoinder and all that. And that once we don't, uh, you know, we, we don't infringe upon the law, uh, I am okay. My worry also is that all these things, right, when people do, especially people who are associated with political parties, they have the hope that their parties will come to their rescue and all that. And it emboldens them to misbehave and then do things in this regard. You and I, I alive to a situation where uh, hulams, uh, you know, storm, uh, storm a particular court and took over, yeah. as it were, the court proceedings and all that. All right. Uh, this type of impunity cannot be countenanced. We have seen time and again where people manhandle press men and all that and they get away with that. Let us remember that media without, sorry, democracy without media is empty. It's empty. It Thank cannot you. survive. Thank you, Doc. So let us safeguard this democracy by protecting media and then making sure that the media is what kept very tight. If they cross the line, let us use the legal process to address. But issue of attack, issue of what force application <clears throat> of or, or you know rights that do not belong to such people, those things must be thrown away. Thank you so much. Later at the tail end, I'll ask for your quick reflections on what is going on, the engagements between Israel and Palestine. But for now, let's get into uh, the newspapers. The Ghanaian Times newspaper this morning, after 50 years, NSS to become authority. That's according to the president. Theresa Kufour to be given state burial on November 16. May God rest her soul. And um, boy, 15 arrested for allegedly killing grandmother at Bonasua. And then committee, parliamentary probe into leaked tape. Committee can't do open-ended, wide-ranging probe of entire police service. IGP legal team insists. All right, so let's get right down to it. Um, maybe we start off on a sad note. And a 15-year-old boy has been arrested by the police for allegedly killing his grandmother at Bonaswa, a farming community in the Jaman South municipality of the Bono region. Reports gathered by the Ghanaian Times indicated that the teenager, only identified as Clifford, hit the 70-year-old woman, Abna Getia, on the head with a club, killing her instantly. After committing the crime, according to the report, the boy allegedly single-handedly dragged the lifeless body of the grandmother into a backyard farm and buried her in a shallow Grave. The assemblyman for Bonasua electoral area, Richard Fekra, uh, confirmed the incident and added that the hitherto peaceful community was in shock of the incident. The assemblyman further disclosed to the Ghanaian Times that the 15-year-old boy had come to visit the grandmother and had incessantly demanded money from the old lady. But when she could not provide it, Clifford unleashed the dastardly act on her. May God have mercy on him and uh, grant rest to his grandmother. But of course, the law will also have to take its course. 
Then, on page 11, though, uh, juvenile terms uh, come in. But uh, after 50 years, NSS to become authority. That's according to the president. <clears throat> and President Nanado Dankwe Kufuado has affirmed his government's commitment to elevating the national service scheme beyond its current role. Consequently, a new draft policy document has been developed to guide the implementation of its activities. And then Theresa Kufuor to be given state burial on November uh, 16, the former first lady. Um, quick stories there for your consideration, Doc. Yeah, uh, Ben, I will also start uh, on that sad story. Uh, very, very sad uh, that uh, this has really happened. Um, the story, yeah, without, um, you know, one thing that comes out of this type of story is the issue of um, problems we have in our society, socialization, socialization, where we inculcate values in children so that they develop to become the best for society. Is that what we are experiencing now? All right. Uh, 15 is a child. So you realize that uh, we need to up our game. One, starting with the agencies of socialization, the family. Starting with the school. Starting with public places, such as the churches, the mosques, the shrines, and all that. We have to intensify our what socialization process and inculcate rich societal values in children. Um, sometimes you have to also uh, delve back into certain homes and find out what exists in terms of problems, uh, parent, uh, children, relationships, and the rest of them. There's a whole lot. And uh, I believe that uh, the social welfare department would take note of this. And then uh, we help uh, generally so that we save our young people, we save our families, and we save uh, the society. It's very, very unfortunate that this has happened. Uh, the issue of national service. I am happy uh, for the announcement given by the president. Yes, uh, it's going to be an authority. Um, uh, it is something uh, worth commenting on because the national service has existed for a very long time. Um, our time, um, we had to serve twice. Uh, a level, then and after A level national service, then after university national service, and I tell you, if you look at uh, the work that national service uh, people have done in this country, I salute them. I take the opportunity to salute them, to salute the secretariat, and to salute all government for supporting uh, this scheme up to today. It is true that sometimes there are difficulties, there are problems with the work that they do, but I tell you. Uh, they have contributed uh, their bit. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, you can talk about rural areas where you don't have teachers and all that. And national service have been posted to all these places and they have supported the state through thick and thin. My worry, my worry is that before we move to authority and all, all that, we should make sure uh, that they get regular, you know, uh, stipend, what is due them. We, we get it to them on time. Um, I thought that problem is a thing of the past, but talking to some of the service personnel, you realize that you still have that problem, even though to be fair to government, government have been also been able to pay uh, from time to time, but there are still what, uh, backlog and all that. It is my hope and prayer uh, that we clear all these things and let them also have that sense of relief and then be able to do their work and do it well. Uh, my also joy, is what I heard from the speaker, that people have turned their service personnel to errant boys and girls and all that. That should cease forthwith. Uh, they are there to, to serve a certain, play a certain role, and they are not there uh, for such uh, 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 businesses. So let us direct them as to how the state want them to be directed. But I tell you, if you develop and develop this, this uh, could be the game changer for the youth mobilization and development in this country. Right. <clears throat> Let's go on with the Daily Guide <clears throat> newspaper. The Finder and then the Ghanaian publisher, very quickly. Daily Guide, Cecilia Dapa versus OSP Palava deepens. And of course, in recent times, what we heard was that she was saying, you know, 
she was broke and uh, the, her assets uh, shouldn't be touched uh, again based on that second freezing motion uh, by the OSP. IGP fights Atachia. Then Frimpong Boateng Galamse claims empty. That's according to the AG. So you remember the claims made by uh, Professor Frimpong Boateng. The AG is saying they are yes, I do. empty. Empty without anything in there. Alan Wu's Kennedy to butterfly movement and NSS to be made authority. So let me just give you a bit of the scoop. Uh, the office of the AG, the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice, has concluded its review of a docket submitted by the police on the allegations contained in a 36-page document written and signed by Professor Frimpong Boateng. The reports, which included the work of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, accuse some government officials and private individuals of either engaging in illegal mining, that is Galamse, or inhibiting the work of the committee in its fight against illegal mining. Now, the AG's advice to the CID sets out the various allegations made by a prof against each person named in the report and indicated that the police interviewed and took statements from the person cited in the allegations contained in the report. It said they all denied the allegations made against them. However, several attempts by the police to obtain further information from prof to substantiate the allegations in the report and assist them to conduct further investigations proved futile. How would he be willing to go ahead when he was being assaulted, battered left, right, and center in written pieces, in verbal, you know, pieces on social media, on broadcast, you know, entities. <laughs> when you do that to him, how do you expect him to come forward? But that is what the AG is saying. So um, that is that. Uh, I'll add the one on page six and get your reactions. On page six, Alan Kwejo Chemating, a former Minister of Trade and Industry who left the ruling MPP to start a change movement with a butterfly as its emblem, has extended an open invitation to Kennedy Japan to help him. That's the Asin Central lawmaker. Uh, quick thoughts on these matters. Yes, I'll start with the Professor from uh, you know, story. Um, it is unfortunate in that we are where we are now. Uh, the Professor wrote us a report. I'm not a lawyer, but in, uh, in, in my mind, I believe that that should be uh, the, 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 the building block for any investigation if we, are, we want to be serious about the whole uh, exercise, that you need to be able to look at all the allegations that have been leveled and then see how best you can go into it in terms of investigation. If you want materials, of course, in law, you are subjected to straight proof and all that. But you can also rely on reports such as Joy FM's Erastus, uh, Erastus Donko's report. He has done so many on what I'm saying, what is happening. And so why can they also rely on this if we want to really get to the bottom of it? But to wish it away and saying that it is not fit for purpose. All right. Are we saying that uh, Galamze is not happening in this country? Are we saying that there is nothing that we can find relevant to what is happening in terms of even other reports, such as what Joy have done? You have done a lot of documentaries. I've been listening to them. People, apart from Joy, other groups and all that, all that they have. And they have video evidence and all that. If they show you to you, you can start investigation with this. Um, if we play with this Galamse menace, uh, this Galamse problems, a time will come, we'll not be able to control it. Um, we have we've started hearing problems. We don't know. The science has not established issue of kidney problems and all that. We don't know the cause now that is oh, dealing with the, the, the science has established but it. I will not. If, if you look at, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, our documentaries, poison for gold, destruction for gold, among others. And, uh -huh. and the different ones uh -huh. that we've, we're having, the medical authority is doing a lot of yes. these in those areas where contamination is heavy. Yeah. In fact, we have documentaries on, on such. And it, it is no longer something so about whether it is. It is affecting them. Some children are being born without even their sexes able to be determined because of poisoning. Thank you for uh, that information. Here you are. So a time will come. Uh, let us not forget, all of us can be candidates, mm. can be, you know, 
patients one day relative mm. to the issue we are talking about. Mm. So let us be very careful. Uh, it is it is incumbent upon us to safeguard the ecology and save our lives. It's not for fun that God gave, gave us this environment and that we need to keep it clean at all times. But if we want to destroy it and we as holders of political power, we don't care a hoot about it. We want to any accusation and all that, we want to throw it away. We don't want to go into details of it. Uh, let's give ourselves time. The reality will dawn on us and the it truth will. will come out. Remember, truth is always what one. Mm. So, uh, so I don't forget, uh, just uh, a reminder that when you're wrapping, I would like your quick thoughts on what is going on between Israel and Palestine. But before we get there, I saw a message uh, come through on Joy News on Facebook. If, you're not, if you've not been watching, those of you out there, you can always pick up your phone and watch us live. This message says, oh, where, where is it? Okay. For about three months now, ECG has been giving very high estimated bills for those of us using postpaid. Uh, postpaid, okay, right. My bill has been constant every month. That is 753 CDs. It is constant. How can this be possible? How can you sit somewhere and imagine what my bill should be without the meter being read? That is another problem that has been in the offing. But the final newspaper, dismissal, fear, grips, UG level students, level 200, 300 students with CGPA below one to be sacked. You are very familiar with that. And uh, it appears a lot of people are going to fall victim to that. UTV condemns a tax, says it won't be deterred. And then the Ghanaian publisher newspaper, uh, AG, justifies rejection of Galamsey report. Frimpo Mbwating provided no evidence. Okay. Ghana ni wa yo, we are, we day inside. Your final thoughts, uh, Dr. Kwame Asasante. Yes. I'll look at the UG story. All right. I've seen it in the social media and the rest of them. They ask myself, why? <laughs> what is news about this? Um, this? This is part and parcel of the way we mold people in the university. And Ben, you are alive to uh, this provision. Our time, even the grade point average that you supposed to keep you on the surface of water is 1.5. So Comer Hall, we're making a lot of fun about it. That, yeah, if you don't work towards 1.5, 1 1.5 will catch you. Push out of the university. It's a standard practice. We don't admit people just to come there and come and, you know, not be serious with your books. Parents put children there to go there, develop themselves, build capacity, and come and be worth the assault to society. So when you go, there are rules of engagement. And uh, these things are captured clearly in our books and handbook and all that. Unfortunately, you see students don't read them. They come and then they play games with lectures and all that. The day of reckoning is there. And that if you don't meet the threshold, I'm afraid you'll be thrown out. And Indeed. irrespective of whoever is involved, you'll right. be thrown out. Right. Uh, it's normal. Let also the, the public know that it's not only students who are thrown out of university for poor performance. Lecturers, all right? If you don't publish and you are a lecturer, you'll sit in your university, you'll be thrown out. That yeah. is a system that checks both what, uh, you know, faculty and student. Right. So uh, this one, those who really want to learn and want to abide by the rules of the game will be maintained. Those who cross the line, we will throw them out. Right. Doc, we have line. to go. So I want your succinct yeah. uh, thoughts. If you can do 30 seconds, I'd be so grateful. Israel, Palestine. I know I'm squeezing you into a tight corner, but what do you think? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Is, yeah. To be honest with you, I've not been following the story. I've been doing other stuff, but I know this thing has been lingering on for years. Um, it's a difficulty. Um, it's a difficult. I don't know how we are going to deal with it because every time there are ten, twists and turns relative to the issues and all that. So, huh, it's a very difficult one. But the current one, what has really triggered this? I am not aware of that. If you can really. Uh, help me with that. So, so though we are pressed for I'm time, not, uh, Hamas, Hamas that, on, uh, on the in... eve of Yom Kippur, this is an attack on Israel some 50 years ago. On the cusp of it, when they were about to mark the yeah. anniversary, uh, Hamas infiltrated Israel on land, via air, with paragliders, among others. And, you know, Israelis have these kibbutz, kibbutz that they call these communities with communal living, everything is shared, kind of like the socialist uh, kind of living, a number of them across, you know, 
some of the borders of Israel, some of them infiltrated into the towns and literally gunned down people, took hostages and all of that. Of course, these are said to be reprisals for some things that Israel has also done. But this scale has never been seen before, and Israel is saying this is all-out war. I, I think that's the best summary I can, I can give you. But maybe we'll, we'll, we'll push more of that. I'll give you time yeah, because the numbers are huge on both sides. I'll give you time to reflect on them, and maybe the next time we engage, uh, we'll get into the details. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, I've not been following that. I've been looking at other issues and all that, but I, right. I've not. So well, we'll look at that and we'll come back uh, with the bank. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Kwame Asasante, my own former lecturer at the Political Science Department of the University of Ghana. He also is uh, the director of the Center for European Studies. He was gracious enough to join us this morning. Doc, have a wonderful day. Okay, so right before we get into sports, and I'm sure you're waiting for all the action from uh, the last few days, especially yesterday, Eden Hazard also, as we know, uh, is retiring from international football. But this segment brought to you by Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic. They're offering you, if you're a man, prostate screening for free. If you're a woman, fertility screening, gratis. You won't pay anything. Locate them here in a crowd. Spend text opposite the Shell signboard. Kumasi, Krodum Wabwe here behind the Angel Educational Complex. There's Takrade Anaji State, Tema Community 22, Techiman Hanswe, the Siaman Zama. Their call lines 0244 or 0274 End point homeopathic clinic, the end to chronic disease. Sports is up next Tuesday. <laughs>